What's up guys, this is Intellitech Studios with a quick unboxing of a Samsung Galaxy S6. Now, earlier this year I got a request to do a review on the standard Samsung Galaxy S6 and I did get one, I did use it for a little bit and I kind of started to work on a review but I eventually abandoned it because I was working on the review for the Note 5 and I was considering getting an S6 Edge Plus instead since I'm always a fan of larger phones. But um, I clearly got the review, or I clearly got the request to do the original S6, so I wanted to do it before the review's end, under one condition, which was that I got it in my favorite color that I've never yet seen in real life, which is the blue topaz color. And I actually found one on eBay, and I acquired it, and I bought it, so if I was going to get a standard S6, I wanted it to be in the blue color, no not the black sapphire which a lot of people call this blue this is not blue this is black sometimes it looks blue it's not it's black like i can see like yeah see it looks blue right there but it's black the official name of the color is black so i got a few different devices to compare it to and this is my first time ever seeing the blue topaz variant since in the states the only colors that we got of the galaxy s6 was the black sapphire the gold platinum and the white pearl those are the only colors that i'm aware of that showed up in the states for the standard s6 and the sx edge and the sx edge plus doesn't even have the white color so the SX Edge Plus only has black and gold. And then the Note 5 uh, came out in all three of those same colors as well. The black, the white, and the gold. The silver Note 5 was, and the silver SX Edge Plus were not for sale in the States. At least not through carriers. The only way you could get one is if you imported it. Now this one came from a US sell seller but I believe this came from China. Oh my gosh. This is, it says bubble wrap so I can just squeeze this out of here. And then I believe this card has all the phone's information on it. Actually, I don't think this has, okay, that's a serial number, I think. And that's some type of part number. So it says the status valid. You, I'm assuming that means unlocked or wiped. August 2nd, 2019 at 1232. I don't know what any of this other stuff is. So. Oh my god. Oh, this is so beautiful. Let me look at the sides. So the sides are in mint condition. Oh, that bottom's all scratched up. Okay, so this was listed as being mint condition. I paid like, I paid, I think I paid, I forgot how much I paid for this. I was going to buy one brand new in the box for like one, 130, 120, but I got this one for like 80. Actually, no, I got this one for like 60 or 70. You can see there's some scratches down there that I don't like. That was not that were not disclosed in the listing. This was listed as mint. That alone makes this not mint. That is not mint with those scratches. Oh, and there's a dent right there. Come on, focus. That is not mint. That's a dent. Some scratches up here. That I can forgive. I can see you still calling something mint with those tiny little scratches. And if you look on the screen, no scratches from what I can tell. No scratches on the home button, on the back, no scratches. So that's the Galaxy S6. Let's boot this up. Galaxy S6. And then we can see this compared to the Galaxy S4. So you can see the S4 
It's a little bit smaller, but the S6 has a slightly bigger screen, so that makes sense. The S5 is a little bit of a chunker compared to the S6, but still, they're about the same size with the same uh, screen size. But the S5 is a little bit wider and just a hair taller, but they're about the same height, but the S5 is a little bit wider. Then the S7, which basically fixed all the issues with the Galaxy S6. It reduced the camera hump, made it a little bit thicker, added a bigger battery, added the SD card slot, revived the water resistance that was missing from the S5 to the S6. And then of course, if we compare this, now I do have the gold S7, but the back is cracked. That's what that will look like. See, I need to replace the back. I actually have the back in the box here, and that'll be um, a future video where I replace the battery and the back panel on that. Here's the Orchid Gray Galaxy S8. So the two unique colors. Here's the black Sapphire Note 5. So we can see the black versus the blue. So if you call this blue, you haven't seen this. This is the blue, this is the black. In the 2015 era, this is blue, this is black. So this is black, this is blue. Don't call this blue, this is not blue. I've had people call this blue, and they are lying. This is not blue, this is black. This is blue. See? And also to compare blue to blue, there's the blue topaz and the coral blue, or actually this is blue topaz and blue coral specifically. So you can see, now I've, I've had a lot of people say that they didn't like the Note 7 blue because this Note 7 is a bit of a lighter blue, whereas my Note 9 is a very dark blue. But this looks like an extremely dark blue when compared to the S6 because this S6 is just incredibly shiny and reflective. It almost looks turquoise. So when you hold it like this, it's like a blue, and then when you when you hold it in a certain light, it goes to like a green, like a pastel green, and even like a turquoise. So it's really more of a turquoise than a blue, whereas this is just like a baby blue. Like, no one's going to debate that this is blue. Also, the Note 7 has the gold trim, the rose gold trim. Whereas the S6 has the silver trim. And of course the Note 8 and the Note 9 have the matching blue trim, as does the Note 10, for their blue variants. And all of those blue variants look different than these blue variants. Samsung has a thousand different versions of blue. Um, but yeah, so these are the blue ones I have at the moment. Well, I also have the FE. I still have the FE, but of course the FE is the same as the 7. So, yeah. So that's it compared to that, and of course the Note is bigger than the S series, what a, what a shocker. And then, um, just for fun, I also have a OnePlus 2. So there it is compared to a OnePlus 2, not as big. And of course the device that pretty much gave it its inspiration and design, the iPhone 4 and 4S. Flat sides, glass panel on the front and back. Very similar. But I think the Galaxy S6 actually feels better in the hand. Just because of the size. And this is still a comfortable phone to hold. So if I turn it on, ooh, no burn in either. So that's good. Especially for this price, there shouldn't be any burn in. But yeah, I believe this is a uh, UK unit. I also have a, a UK Note 4 that I'm going to go grab. So here's the Note 4 compared to the S6. You can see the difference in the design just going from six months apart. But yeah, so we got my favorite color for the Note 4 and my favorite color for the S6. But yeah, so. Anyways, uh, of course the Note's bigger. What a shock. But yeah, so this is my unboxing of the Blue Topaz Galaxy S6. Probably one of the first ones I've seen in a while in America. But yeah, Galaxy S6 review is coming soon for the person who requested it. Anyway, this is Intel Tech Studio signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.